everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm making a sheet pan mini mexican meatloaves with a pineapple chipotle salsa so if you guys want to know how to make this hit that subscribe button and watch me cook if you already have a favorite taco seasoning packet go ahead and use that if you don't just grab a few ingredients together and make your own homemade taco seasonings yourself make sure you go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees to keep this meal gluten free, I went ahead and used pork rinds instead of crackers or bread. You can blend these in your processor or you can just throw them in a bag and start crushing them up like this. It took me about three large handfuls to equal about one cup's worth. Also, it doesn't matter if you use the hot and spicy kind or if you just use the regular kinds because you won't be able to taste the hot and spicy at all once you make this. So go ahead and grind them up or do what I'm doing and throw them in a bag and just smash them together until you get it into a fine crumb. Once you're done with that, grab your measuring cup and go ahead and make sure you have enough. It's a little bit better to have more than less, so just crush up as much as you need to. This dinner is really easy to make, so you just grab your ground beef, add your large egg, and then the pork rinds we just smashed up, just pour that right into there. Then add your taco seasoning we just made or your packet and one cup of chicken broth. We're going to use clean hands and start folding it all together. Now here's a little thing about meatloaves that I don't like. I generally don't like meatloaves because of the texture. It's, it tastes like a big pile of mush. Does that make any sense? But giving it another shot, I've learned that I like the texture of it when they're smaller because they're not a big pile of mush anymore. It has more of a beefy texture to it. Does that make sense? I don't know. Plus they're cute. Personal size things are cute. But I figured out how to get the texture that I like just by folding them over instead of smashing them all together with your fingers. So as long as you keep folding everything over, you're not smashing the beef together and you're going to just do this until everything is well incorporated. Now all I'm doing is dividing my meatloaf into sections so I can kind of get my portion sizes down and I'm going to mold them into my hand until I get that shape that I want and then I'm going to place them all onto my sheet pan. I did end up making four larger ones and two smaller ones for my kids. Once you're done with molding all of your meatloaf shapes, just pop them in the oven for 25 minutes. While your mini meatloaves are cooking in the oven, go ahead and grab whatever your favorite toppings are and get those ready for your mini meatloaves. This is how they look coming right out of the oven. Don't worry about the fat, we're just going to pick these up individually. Before I plate the food, I want to give a big thank you to K Salsa for sending me this absolutely delicious pineapple salsa with chipotle. The flavors went really well with our dinner and I'll leave you guys a link to their Amazon store in the info box below. Now back to plating our food, I went ahead and served mine with some Mexican rice and topped it off with some sour cream, lettuce, cheese, and the salsa. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.